Daddy, set this up. Welcome to Brown Chapel Cemetery, where for more than 100 years, our nation have honored their fallen patriots. We have our stone that we can see around here. They are a witness of the men and women who have answered their call of our country to defend our nation, our constitution, and national interests both at home and around the world, like P.S.C. Glenn did. And because he did that, I had the privilege and honor from God and country to enjoy the Republic of Korea in 2002, when I went there as a chaplain. And because he did that, they there still enjoy the freedom. And we still enjoy the style of life that we are living. But today we are here to receive his remains. Because his spirit, 62 years ago, went astray to the present of Christ. And today, I am sure for the family, it is a lot of mix of feeling. Feeling of grief. Because what happened 62 years ago become alive again. But at the same time, it's feeling of happiness because the wait of 62 years is done. And his remain is there. And not only you as a family are happy, also our land of freedom, our land of brave people are also happy because a son of it who is him is back to the land. His remain is back where he's supposed to be a long time ago and now he is here in Palmer, Tennessee, where he born, where he will rest the rest of the time. If that is a reunion with his remain. Well let me tell you family and the rest will be a permanent reunion. Oh yes. Will be a permanent reunion where we will be with him the father, with the mother, with the others who have been before, and in the present of whom? In the present of our father. And right there we will enjoy his present again. And me, that I did not meet him, we met him. And we say, hey, brother Glenn, I have the honor and privilege from God and country to be there in your funeral. I have the honor and privilege to meet some of your brothers and sisters. I had the honor and privilege to, to read some of the letters who were there in the displays. But that will be a permanent reunion where we will be with him and with God again. 
But until this time is coming, we need to keep forward. And God who created us, God who knows where you are because he lost his son. And also because he became a human being as you and me. And when he found, as a Jesus Christ, that a friend of him passed away, what he did? He cried. Because he knew the feeling of loss. He knew the feeling of grief. He, loved, he knew the pain when we lost a loved one. For that reason, the name of the family also, we give to all of you the thank you. And we have to tell God and our country, thank you, thank you, and thank you for have the honor and privilege to be here today in this sacred place. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our loving God, our Father of life and the Father of death, here we are in this afternoon to say welcome and at the same time I see you later to the remain of PSC Glen. But also God, we ask to you, O oh Lord, that you be with his family, with each of them, and you comfort them, and you help them to go in through this, this time of grief that they are living again. But at the same time, we have to tell you, thank you, Lord, because he's back. And this expectation he will be or will not is gone, is done, because he's here, oh Lord. Thank you because he been in your presence for even more than I and many of us here. Because from the same day that he was killed, we are sure for what we have seen and for those who know him that he went straight to your presence. Now be with the family, stay with them until we come the day that you will call each of us. Amen. And in the sure certain of hope of the resurrection to the eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, we command the remain of Glenn Shenaman. And we commend his remain to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And blessed are the dead who died in the Lord, say the Spirit. They rest from their labor, and they were followed. Amen. And amen. Well, what, Daddy? <laughs>
Alle Güsse. accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation, your honorable and faithful service. of a grateful America and the Patriot Guard Riders. Please accept our sincere condolences on your tragic loss. May your pain be tempered by the knowledge of the PFC, Lynn, Shelley, Shaman, the United States Army veteran, is a true American hero.
Now, there's food for all the family and friends at the Logger Methodist Church. And we're going to let the family go down there now. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you just ever so much. The words can't describe the greatness of this family. No. We'll let them go to their cars because it's raining. If you rode the bus, you may want to catch your bus back out to the high school.